It's hard not to think about Ridley Scott's upcoming Alien Covenant when watching the trailers for Life. With a similar basic story and genre elements, it might even be easier to write off Life as nothing more than a ripoff of the original Alien. Nonetheless, while Life isn't nearly as inventive, scary, or moody as that 1979 classic, it does manage to carve out a suitable space for itself in the sci-fi genre as a fun, often grotesque, story about what scientists will do to protect life at all costs. Directed by Daniel Espinosa, Life follows a group on the International Space Station who are charged with analyzing a sample of dirt from Mars for any signs of life. What they discover is a single-cell organism unlike any they've encountered before, one which begins to grow more and more with each passing day. Named Calvin, the creature does eventually begin lashing out against its human surveyors, proceeding to target and kill each member of the team in spectacularly gory fashion. <laughs> While comparisons to Alien are unavoidable, the film is noticeably different from its genre predecessors because it doesn't really have a lead character. While that might make it sound like the film lacks focus, it actually lends an extra level of unpredictability to the whole film. As the alien life form begins to grow more and more dangerous, there's no lead character the audience can be certain will make it to the end of the film. Credits should then be given to screenwriters Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, best known for their work on last year's Deadpool, for crafting a believable, mostly well-developed cast of characters here. The fact that life feels constantly watchable is no doubt thanks to the talents of its impressive cast. The film allows for stars like Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds to each turn in respectable, charismatic performances. But it also shines a spotlight on more underappreciated international stars like Hiroyuki Sonata. Reese and Wernick's approach to the film features their signature wit and banter that made previous efforts like Zombieland stand out, but they bring an edge of ruthlessness to the material that elevates it above other alien-inspired sci-fi horror films throughout the years. We don't know what it is. And you're in there and you're playing around with it like it's your buddy. I'm your buddy. But even for all of these advantages and attempts at keeping the audience on their toes, life can't help but fall into the same genre cliches that have damaged past films like it. The third act, in particular, feels noticeably less intelligent or dramatic than the previous two, as the dread of Calvin possibly waiting around the corner for his next victim is taken away in favor of unnecessary plot schemes. Life becomes less intense and scary in its final 30 minutes, which makes its ending land with significantly less weight. It should be said that despite being early in the year, 2017 has already given us a number of exceptional blockbuster films so far. And compared to everything else, there's no denying that Life lands somewhere on the lower half of the spectrum. But still, Life is a unique and fun entry in the sci-fi horror subgenre, one that will more than satiate anyone looking for a handful of genuinely terrifying moments, along with a new cinematic monster to add to their nightmare fuel. For more movie reviews, stick with us here at IGN. You're gonna go clockwise from your side. Cat, <gasps> you're fighting me, Cat. Come on, gotta do it together now. Come on. Cat. Look at me. Cat. Just pull on the lever, okay? Come on. Just pull down on the lever.